Hello, my Italian food fanatics. Today, we're going to make two different salads, but they're similar. We're going to make an artichoke salad with arugula, prosciutto, and parmigiano reggiano. In one, we're going to use a lemon and olive oil dressing, which is very, very fresh and bright. And in the other one, we're going to use a real DOP balsamic vinegar. And uh, we're going to change up the way that we... Uh, Eat, we're gonna change up the way that we do the Parmesan in, in that one. You'll see two different salads, two different, completely different flavors, but all using literally the same ingredients except for the acid. The acid is different in one as opposed to the other. Easy to do. Anyway, before we go into the kitchen, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, come on, let's get in the kitchen. All right, let's get started. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, California, 100% extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna use some lemon juice in one version of the salad that we're gonna to make today. We're gonna to use some arugula. We'll use a little balsamic vinegar in another, in the second version, rather than lemons. Obviously, we're gonna use some Parmigiano Reggiano. We use a couple of globe artichokes, one for each version of the salad today. And the star of our show, Parma ham, prosciutto di Parma, the actual real thing from the Emilia Romagna region of Italy. So I'll be back. All right, let's first turn our attention to our artichokes. They're, they're the most important thing here to get started properly. The rest is pretty much easy after we take care of that. We're gonna cut a lemon and we're gonna squeeze that juice into this water. Makes no difference if uh, there are pits or anything like that. I've watched the lemons beforehand just to, uh, to ensure that there's no dirt or anything like that. So, there we go. It's acidulated water or water with acid in it because when we make the artichokes, if we don't put them in this water, what they'll do is they will they'll turn black. Uh, and so with an acid in the water, it stops them from turning black and leaves them with that nice light green color that we love. So I'll come back with the artichokes. All right, let's get started. What I like to do, first cut this off. And then I like to peel back the leaves this way. I understand that this is edible, but for our purposes, we're not going to use it. I'm going to peel back, and I'm going to cut this off just about right there, just to be able to help uh, peel back these, uh, these layers and discard them. And I'll be back when we get a little bit further down. Okay, as you can see, we are a little bit further down into um, the artichoke. I like to take a spoon and pull back. You can see that right there is the edible portion. And what I'm gonna do before we do anything is I'm gonna dip this in the acidulated water just to ensure that it doesn't um, oxidize while we're working with it. And we just trim off just like this. Again, dipping occasionally because we're exposing areas that are uh, liable to oxidize on us because we don't want that oxidization. And we trim it down so that we have the fully edible part. Now we're going to eat this raw, and so consequently we don't want uh, we don't want anything too tough. All right, and I'm going to cut it by hand. So there we go. That is pretty much it. Let me take a little bit more of this out of here. It's still edible. This is all edible, but I like to, I do personally like to remove some of this uh, more fibrous area. There we go. That's perfect. Back into the water. And now we'll be back in a second to slice them all up and to put the salad together. While our artichokes rest in the acidulated water, what we're going to do is we're going to make a very simple and extremely Italian um, dressing. We'll take some lemon juice and we're just going to add some olive oil to that. And probably a one-to-one -one ratio. 
It all depends on the lemon. Sometimes you'll need to add more lemon juice. I mean, pardon me, more oil, sometimes less. Depends on the acidity level. If you're using very sweet lemons, obviously you're going to use less olive oil. I'll be back. So here we have the uh, lemon juice. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. We'll mix it up. And we'll taste. We'll see. And if we need to add more of either one, then we will. And this is the way to do it. Because any other way, and there's, I can't tell you, use two tablespoons of this and two teaspoons of that. It just doesn't work. You have to do this. Um, because lemons are our natural product. And they're always going to be different depending on where they're coming from. Um, and they're going to have more acid or less acid. Let's see. Now that's very bright as far as acid's concerned. So we're going to add it just a little bit more olive oil. You don't want it to, to, to add, you want it to be just a little bit acidic. Because remember, we're going to go with prosciutto. We're going to have the cheese in there. We're going to have the arugula. And of course, the artichoke. So having it slightly acidic is better than having it the other way. It's basic. So there we go. That is slightly acidic, but you can definitely taste the olive oil. That's exactly what we want. Now, for our first salad, you can see how it oxidized, uh, even in the acidulated water. We are going to slice this artichoke as paper thin as we possibly can. And as they slice, we're going to put them in the dressing, okay? Because, again, there's acid in there, and they will not oxidize while they're in there. We have to very, very thinly. Now, I can do this because I have a little bit of experience, and the knife is very, very sharp. But if you can't, um, you should use a mandolin or some sort of a slicer that you can buy online to, uh, to do this for you, all right? I'm going to put these in here. I won't bore you with this. I'm going to slice the rest of this up, and we'll be right back. Now we're going to make the second dressing for the second salad, and we're going to use balsamic vinegar. This is uh, Aceto Balsamico de Modena. It's, uh, it's the real deal. It's the DOP. And uh, in this case, because I know this uh, particular vinegar, we can use a one-to-one -one ratio. So one tablespoon of the vinegar and one tablespoon of oil. I'm going to do a slightly little tiny bit more oil than I'm doing vinegar. And now I'm just going to slice the other artichoke and place it in there. We'll be back. And now that we have our two different artichokes in the two different dressings, it's time for us to build the salad. We're going to do it two different ways, in addition to being not only two different ways, but two different, uh, two different uh, methodologies uh, for putting the salad together. You'll see what I mean. For our first salad, the one with the lemon, we're going to take some arugula and put it inside of a, a small bowl. And then we're going to take the dressing that the artichoke has been uh, sitting in and pour it into our arugula and mix that around. I always like to use my hands in this case. I don't like to use an instrument because it damages the leaves. And with this, we can be a little bit more gentle. All right. And we're going to obviously remove little leaves like this. This is an organic arugula. And so you're going to get anomalies like that. We're now going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'll be right back with that. Let me just clean off my hands. A key addition to any salad is salt and pepper. So we're going to put a little bit of pepper in here first. And of course, a little bit of salt, not too much. That's the key. This is actually a big secret. Most people do not put salt in the salad, in the greens. And when you do, it changes everything about the salad. We'll mix these up again, but not too much. Remember, we're using prosciutto. And that is going to have salt. And we're also going to be using Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano. And that has a lot of salt in it, too. So let's put the salad together now. All right, with Parma ham that we have here, one thing that you have to realize is if you get it thinly sliced like this, 
you put the ham down and you remove the plastic off of the ham not the ham off of the plastic when you do that it doesn't tear so I will carpet the rest of this and we'll come back all right now that we have the prosciutto on the plate we can now put down our artichokes and they're sliced really really thin but they're still gonna have a crunch to them when uh, when you bite into it and of course that dressing is gonna go on the prosciutto as well and give it uh, a little bit of flavor perfect then we take our greens and we pile them on top just like this and in the style of the great late great Jean-Louis Paladin of Jean-Louis who in uh, Washington DC what you want is you want to build height in the salad okay you want as much height as possible and create uh, create a depth to the salad when it's served he was the first he was the best French chef in America in the in the 1980s and he um, is revered by so many American chefs including great chefs like George Marone for for the inspiration that he had in fact um, one of my mentors George Marone would save up all his money as a student just to go and eat in his restaurant so this is a paying homage to Jean-Louis we can learn from everybody it doesn't matter whether they're French even Italians can learn from the French the French can learn from the Italians and so we want height I'll be back with the Parmesan in one second all right now it's time to add the final element here actually second to final element and that is shaved Parmesan you want to get this on here like this and I don't want to bore you with uh, with 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 putting this on here so I'll come back in a second but what you need is you need a peeler like this and a nice block of cheese to be able to create these shavings or ribbons I'll be back okay now that we have that and one last little dusting of pepper to go around to add that je ne sais quoi and there we go all right for our second salad I've gone ahead and place the prosciutto on the plate we're going to take another bowl put our other arugula inside and I said we were going to do this a little bit differently let me remove some of these less than desirable leaves and we're just going to dump the whole thing in including the artichoke hearts and we'll give it a good mix and I'll be back and we'll season this and put it on the plate what we're also going to do a little differently is we're going to put some pepper in here I'm not going to add any salt and you'll know the reason why in just a second we're now going to add shaved Parmigiano Reggiano uh, grated pardon me inside of here and mix it all together and what will that will tighten it up we'll be right back so here we go we're just going to grate this in there and that's going to coat the leaves and that's why I'm not adding salt because we're going to add a lot more cheese than we did in the other salad and this will also give it seasoning as well as flavor obviously from the cheese and that's about enough we can always add more so we'll mix this in here like this and look at that look how beautiful that looks I'll be back and we'll put this on the plate okay we're back and let's do this 
again we're looking for height but the cool thing here is that now we're going to use the artichoke hearts in place of the shaved parmesan so they are featured rather than being on the bottom like in the other salad now obviously you can mix and match and do this however way you want but this gives you two different ideas on how to create the same salad but much different not only in looks but also in flavor and of course uh, obviously not in texture as well because there's going to be a little difference in the texture here this is going to be the same but it's going to be different if you know what i mean and now we see that some of these things have fallen down and we'll take them and rearrange we're going to remove this because that's a bad it's a bad boy in there again we're looking for height the jean-louis paladin height and there we go how sweet it is hello my italian food fanatics well you saw me plate it up you saw everything about how the salads are put together here they are and now we have to taste them let's see if they're any good I'll start with the one with the lemon and uh, and the arugula first. Mm. See the artichokes, even though they're raw, because I sliced them so thinly, they just have this nice crunch to them and it's a very very subtle very subtle flavor mm. the prosciutto and then the cheese these two flavors are meant to go together and of course the lemon is adds that nice counterbalance because we have fat in the prosciutto, we have crunchiness, we have a little bit of that salt in there, the pepper. Mm. This is a perfect summer salad. If it's really hot out, very, very refreshing. And the balance is just perfect. In America, we tend to add too much oil and not enough vinegar, in my opinion. But you have to taste, all right? You obviously are going to make it the way that you like it. But boys, is good. Look at that prosciutto. Ah, how sweet it is. Mmm. And when that lemon flavor gets on the prosciutto, those artichokes, the little globe, mm, so good. Now let's try the uh, the one with the balsamic vinegar. Now again, Parmesan cheese, balsamic vinegar, prosciutto, they're all produced in the same area of Italy. So they're like cousins almost. Let's taste a little bit of the greens. Hmm. This has a much sweeter flavor, as you can imagine, by the uh, balsamic vinegar. And of course, to have the, the cheese grated into the uh, arugula and mixed in gives us a completely different textural feel to it and a mouthfeel that 
is not better or worse than the other one. It's just different. Look at that. Let's add a little. Hmm. Wow. That flavor. That flavor cannot be beat. That's so Italian. Mm. I tell you what, I can't choose. They're both delicious in their own way. And you should try this and mix and match and figure out what you like best. But what an easy salad to put together that's a little bit different. It's a lot different. Most people don't know that you can eat artichokes raw like this, but they have to be very, very thinly sliced. If you can slice them that thin, you don't have a mandolin, you can put them in a microwave for about uh, 45 seconds or something like that. And that kind of cooks them a little bit so you can eat them a little bit thicker and they'll still have the crunch. Hmm. Wow. Perfectly balanced salt, pepper, sweet, tangy, everything's here. Everything's here. Wow. I mean, you can tell a restaurant, first and foremost, how good a restaurant is by the soup, because it's relegated to the lowest person on the totem pole, and then, of course, the salad as well, because very little attention is paid in a lot of places to the salad. So hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I thank you very much for all of your time. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.